Tonight, I prepared a, a, a series of images that I never prepared before. I just went around in the office, check what we have on top of the tables and ask everybody, please prepare what you have on top of the table. And this is kind of nice because usually we are very, uh, very lazy in preparing everything we are doing. But I think because The Plan is a magazine which is really interested about what's going on at the moment, we have done this at the moment. So maybe it's not uh, an, a lecture which is, uh, as usual, very worked out and with the main buildings that we have on maybe just finished, but it's uh, it's something new. <laughs> so thank you, Nicola. Thank you, Carlotta. Thank you, The Plan. I have to say I didn't see the film. I, I Of course, I, I was there while filming. You were very efficient and I'm surprised about the result, very, very beautiful. We choose for tonight to make a, a selection of projects, which is more the one we have on the tables. And usually we don't show because um, we have so many competitions that maybe we lose or, or so many projects which are not uh, totally the top ones so that I don't present them when I go to lectures. So we decided to say, okay, let's more or less take what we have more or less on the tables. Well, this first one, we don't have now on the tables, we just finished, but because we are in a ceramic showroom, we wanted to give the competitors. So we designed a competitor showroom in Milan and it was a very good experience. I think it was really fantastic because we never had a showroom design in our life and uh, they were telling us, oh, you have to show all the ceramics. So we had this idea of making a great collage and making something like a Roman mosaic coming out from the floors and from the, uh, and from the walls. And uh, well, they, they kind of moderated us a little bit, but also accepted and accepted our idea of uh, having the ceramics mixed with, uh, with wood, which could be uh, like of woven wood. And, and now the, the ceramic Ragno, after very fast process, is a reality. Here tonight we don't show so much, uh, some ideas. Uh, now, now here in Ceramica Ziris, they show me that they can reproduce a painting exactly as it is. Here actually we reproduce together with, uh, with the small pieces of Ceramica Ragno, a kind of a new painting with uh, painters coming from the place. You know, uh, ceramics are produced in Italy more or less in the same place, around Sassuolo, Bologna, Modena, Ferrara. And uh, here we in introduced uh, De Chirico, Savinio, these uh, painters which stayed in Ferrara for a long time. And you know that we love Ferrara because of the church. So we made a new painting. And there, there is this, uh, the factory of, of Ragno. But then also we invented this kind of new lamp, big, big pieces and these uh, walls which undulate and then the ceramics become like uh, paintings. It's like a pinacotheque. And, and uh, of course, Ragno is a means spider. And so we worked with this, uh, all these nets. So the, the, the wood is uh, uh, woven together and in the, in the shop window, designed actually by Sarah, who is here. We did this net uh, where, uh, with, uh, with um, uh, sea cords, uh, because she likes sailing, and, uh, and we had these uh, ceramics uh, hanging on these uh, nets in the shop windows. So that's it, a little. Then we are going to, to Taiwan. Actually, now we are uh, listening to people in Taiwan finishing this uh, uh, tower that it, it's the first only project which was given to us only because someone decided that he liked something else that we have designed. He saw the building of the Gas Natural in Barcelona and he said, well, I want these people. 
and they called us and uh, I, we couldn't believe it. So um, someone told me, oh, you should do a Castellier Star Wars in Taiwan. And uh, we, we did something like that. Let's say it's a tower with, which is like a Castellier Tower going like uh, becoming smaller in the top. And also it's mixing very much with the idea of trees, trying to escape to this uh, geometry which in Taiwan is still very present in the downtown and uh, uh, the the owner was called uh, actually Cypress Tree so we we were inspired to to uh, remember the owner in the facade and uh, it was a very beautiful moment where uh, he was deciding how the Cypress should look but also we were playing uh, Stefan here was involved in this with the idea of the Bugatti. He said, well, I love the Cypresses, but I also love Bugattis. <laughs> so the, this was uh, mixing. You can put a lot of ideas in one project, no? as we were saying before. We were, and also we were trying to introduce Feng Shui because it's incredible. In China, you don't listen to the idea of Feng Shui anymore, even if all of them have a, a master behind. And they say, well, actually, the entry should be from the north. I say, why is the entry from the north? Because I like it. But in fact, it is the master behind saying it has to be from the north. Here in, uh, in Taiwan, you have all the businessmen telling you, uh, we want a Feng Shui tower. Because if the Feng Shui doesn't work, the company will not work. So it, we were very impressed by that and we did a back which is uh, the, the very um, uh, direct uh, columned and then in the, in the, in the uh, open part it was kind of uh, uh, receiving the angles from the other towers and the curve was a kind of uh, uh, making the, the energy disappear and so becoming more, um, um, more um, how do you say, uh, more organic and more uh, acceptable. And, uh, and, and this is uh, uh, happening right now. We've never seen it because uh, this was the COVID time when the tower was, was open, but now it's open again. And so Joanne, who is, you've seen in the, in the film is now in Taiwan because we just won with the same clients of, uh, of the tower that you've just seen, another competition. And, uh, and this was a few months ago. And it was a competition for housing in Taipei, which is a city which is kind of starting from the military world. You know, uh, when I go to Taiwan, they always explain how uh, at the beginning, uh, Taiwan was a kind of a military setting where they didn't even have women, you know, it was this kind of strange split between uh, Santa, Te I cannot remember the name of the Chinese master who was again, uh, general who was against Mao Zedong. He escaped, came to, to Taiwan and created Taiwan. So here we were proposing for the housing blocks we had to do something more organic something which would be very different from the military setting that is creating most of the part of Taipei and especially this part which has remained uh, very similar to the original. And we were introducing this, uh, uh, this green path, this uh, corridor of nature, which will make this uh, uh, very, very rigid structure become a better place to live. So we had these proposals. Uh, of course, we wanted to have more ceramic on the facade and more, uh, more collage playful facades. They stopped us, you know, they are promoters, the one who invited us for the competition. So we have a kind of a simple facade, but beautiful geometry, which introduce a very special housing inside with the co-working, uh, co-housing on the ground floor. So this is a kind of a new idea to make the ground floor really become lived by more people and uh, becoming a, a kind of a working space. And the inside very, very open to the, to the terraces and uh, with this uh, movement.
Then we move from table to table in the, in the office and uh, we are now finishing something which is in Shanghai. I remember the day we were called to go to Fudan, to the University of Fudan Business Management, and uh, the, it was snow snowing in Shanghai. It was a very strange day. And they were saying, oh, please don't go. This is a co fake competition. They already know who will win. But anyway, we went and we did the competition and unexpectedly we won it. <laughs> so it was a three blocks, it is a three blocks, and we wanted to unite these three blocks by these uh, roofs, which we imagine like uh, uh, the place of connectivity, uh, like a little, a little traditional, let's say, connecting people both in the inside or and the outside of the three blocks of, of the Fudan University new business management center and uh, and the facade is uh, is uh, very much worked with uh, with ceramic a kind of writing things we were writing words in chinese and then they said no 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 because this could be misinterpreted so at the end we, we wrote in uh, in uh, in our writings fudan and uh, they seem to like it very much and it's it's a very big uh, very big operation in this uh, new part of town, and uh, and it has this uh, uh, this effort to try to create uh, the public of the university as a public space, so people can go through. There is a bridge uh, crossing the the big avenue, and all the courtyards are open to the public, not only to the students, so that you have this uh, golden. Uh, um, uh, uh, skylights, uh, which are kind of uh, uh, indicating the public space uh, where students can meet inside, but also citizens can meet in uh, in the middle of the courtyards and in the public spaces, which uh, which they are doing. Actually, this building nearly ruined us. Uh, it was a very big building, as you see. Uh, the dean was a crazy man. Uh, he didn't have any money at all, but he was telling us, oh, don't worry, don't worry, we will find it. And at the end he could manage, but at the middle of the process we found with no payment and uh, a really difficulty. And at the end he told us, we hate what you designed for the interior, so we don't pay you that. And, and this competition was for a space which is already existing in Nanjing Square, in Nanjing Road. It's called Century Square. And they wanted to, to redesign it and they wanted a new space which could be used in different ways. So it's very much centric in Shanghai. And Nanjing Road is a very important one. And we were thinking that uh, you're very near the, the river uh, and uh, it would be very nice to indicate this uh, fact that the Nanjing Road is really nearly like, like a river and we would like to have this remind of the water in this square. But the square also had to be used uh, for different kinds of events, uh, um, every, every, every scale of event. And also they wanted a kind of a small theater where uh, smaller events could happen all the time. So we designed this great pavimentation with a sort of green uh, stairs, uh, wooden stairs, which will be used normally for, for people moving, but also uh, for events uh, to become a kind of a great amphitheater. And it can be it can be without people or with a lot of people and it's no difference. And also the buildings in the surroundings, they were uh, really becoming very, very uh, important uh, with all these lightings that in uh, Shanghai are so much more stronger than here. So this is uh, the, the first uh, drawings and now this, uh, this uh, uh, Century Square is going on. And the little building there is a little, people was kind of saying, oh, that is the pearl inside the, the, the um, how do you say, the, the shell. And, uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a 
kind of a joke, but it's a little true. No, you have the size of a big shell and then a very small size of a building, which is providing reflection, which is providing also a kind of a shelter, a possibility to arrive to, to a place, to a cafeteria, but also uh, having shows underneath. We were investigating these possibilities of having this uh, holographic shows and uh, uh, new technologies there that could be, uh, could be a, an attraction for, for this new square. Um, it's a, it's a under construction actually now. Also, we haven't been there uh, for a long time because, as you know, China is still on a very strong quarantine, even if it's reduced. But we have been working a lot with China, even through this uh, COVID time. And most of the tables on, on the office have Chinese projects. And this is a very recent competition, still with Stefan here. And uh, this was uh, in a beautiful space in, uh, in the north of China. It's uh, uh, the bamboo forest around Chengdu in uh, Shizuan. And we made a competition with a lot of buildings because it was more a kind of a master plan. Then we were, we were excluded, but one of the politicians were very sad of our exclusion. So he wanted us to design one building. And we are now happier because we can focus on this building, which is really a kind of an interpretation center for bamboo with uh, uh, probably a theater, a place to come and, and uh, learn about uh, the bamboo forest and a little hotel and in a very beautiful, beautiful space. The bamboo forest is fantastic. So it would be fantastic to use bamboo to, to make this building. And I hope this is possible. Even in China, uh, the use of, of wood is uh, very restricted because uh, there is a very strong rules for, for, uh, for fire. But I think because we are in the bamboo forest and this is a very special place, we will be able to use bamboo and to make this building as uh, organic as possible. I love this uh, structure of uh, crossed arches and, uh, and on top of that we can have different kind of geometries that will happen soon in, in the bamboo forest. So we are all looking forward to go <laughs> because it's, uh, it's, now, it's now very difficult as you heard uh, our, our uh, architect in China saying. And we have a, 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 another master plan that we have won some years ago. And now it's under construction. It's a very special place, Rimini in, uh, in Italy. It's a mass uh, touristic place with absolutely thousands of, uh, of uh, umbrellas on the, on the beach, as you can see. But this place between the beach and the city was always very neglected because it was the back of the hotels. It was uh, uh, the back also of the many constructions that you see on the, on the beach, because each one of this uh, uh, series of colors of umbrellas on the beach is a private concession. Even if it's uh, not possible, it's a private concession. So we were transforming that, uh, that area and re-naturalizing the area. We had to invent, we have eight kilometers, as you see, it's a, I think it's, it's not complete also this one, but it's eight kilometers of uh, lungomare, which is crazy. And so we, we wanted to have thematics to, uh, to separate or to distinguish these uh, this, uh, different places of the lungomare. So we are starting building bit by bit, and this is the first part which is uh, now built and the uh, theme is the sea and we wanted to introduce Fellini who of course is uh, from Rimini but uh, they are still doubting if uh, we will have one of the pieces relating with Ferrini, Fellini. We of course have it related to the old Rimini which is beautiful, related to, to the cars and, uh, and motorcycles. Uh, because Rimini is very in love with that and uh, relating with, uh, with this uh, 
being happy because it's a place where people go really to enjoy, to dance, to, to, to have these uh, happy moments. But anyway, it has a fantastic uh, Roman past and a fantastic Renaissance past, which will be reminded on the Lungo Mare, which is trying as much as possible to make this place become natural, where people, of course, can walk and can have a very beautiful moment, but, uh, but it will be very full of green, very full of trees, of uh, Mediterranean species, which are already growing. So here we are walking. His client is a very, very good city architect. And uh, it was uh, this summer, 40 degrees. <laughs> Terrible, but we resisted. <laughs> the passion of architecture uh, maintained us. Uh, the, uh, the green is not so visible here, but it's already very, very strong. And we have a part of it in wood and another part in ceramic with these different patterns that you have seen so that from the top, the eight kilometers will be like that. And uh, the transformation is really incredible because it was, uh, it was cement before. So now we have another building, another project, which is on our tables in this moment. And uh, we are in a place called Ponte Dera, and everybody knows Piaggio, no? the, the um, Piaggio factory. And Piaggio was here. Actually, before the war, this was uh, a place where they were creating um, uh, planes for the war. Uh, so it was heavily bombed. But after the war, they reinvented themselves and they became the Piaggio that we know. Uh, Vespa, Ape, all the products uh, with these beautiful names. So we are now designing the place in front of the old factory, which is now becoming a, a foundation, the Piaggio Foundation, and soon will become a kind of a museum open to, to, to the public. And so we are making this kind of game with the pieces of the, of the famous uh, production of Piaggio, uh, transforming them into a pavimentation with special pieces of ceramic which can give the possibility to really pixelate the floor and make it become uh, a very special, a very special element. Other elements always coming from, from the motorcycles and from the Piaggio products are becoming elements for the, for the urban street. And, uh, and we have it right now on the table with uh, uh, the city people of, uh, of, Pia of Ponte Dera absolutely not caring about us. So there is always different situation wherever you go. <laughs> some of them are fantastic, some of them are not so much. So now we have a, another Chinese project, so always uh, with Stefan. Stefan, we have only your project today. And, uh, and uh, here we have a forest which uh, is different from the bamboo forest. This is in the south. And it, here there are fantastic trees uh, center millinery trees and they ask us to make the entry to a new urbanization they're going to do and they ask us to design a, a pagoda a new type of pagoda dealing with this uh, with these trees so we tried our best this is something that for sure is not going to be built uh, because uh, they started to have economic problems but I think the experimentation was really nice and we wanted to have a pagoda which was similar to a tree, which was very natural and uh, which uh, was uh, um, woven, let's say, in the landscape, even if in, uh, in, in vertical. And I, I think it was a good experiment. Uh, what you do in this pagoda, maybe you meditate, or maybe you take a cup of tea, or maybe you make uh, a ceremony. Uh, but, but it was uh, really nice no, to reinvent uh, a type of pagoda and to reinvent uh, a way to, to, uh, to, to have a symbol which resembles a tree, which has this organic feeling and in the same time can accept people inside and can be also very special for people inside. So this is a work which uh, 
many of our work are like that, let's say. You do them with a lot of love, we, you do them with uh, intention, and maybe they arrive to, to nothing, to a drawer in the, in the, in the office, you know? And uh, uh, we were looking at this today, preparing the slides, and uh, we were saying, oh, anyway, this space is so beautiful that in the next project, maybe, we will use it and we will do something. So this, uh, this is the, the presentation for today. Ah, yes, we have a last project. This is in, in Italy again. It's in Tuscany. And, uh, you know, we designed a church and also we designed a, a, a Buddhist temple. And then we were called by a Buddhist master uh, who told us there is a space in Tuscany and uh, we made a project for it and the project didn't go on. I think you are the one who can solve our problems. I, d I don't know why, but the master was very, very sure about it. He is, uh, he's the master. He is from the United States, but he actually lived in uh, Dharamsala with the Dalai Lama many, many years, I think uh, 30 years or something like that. His name is Alan Wallace and he's really fantastic. I didn't know him as a master before and now I follow his lessons and uh, he's really great. And what he's proposing is uh, for his students to have a little house in that place and stay one year, a long meditation during one year. And we were trying our best to, to investigate these uh, caves where meditation was going on in India, in China, and, and many of them are inside the, the earth, inside the, their caves. No? In, a, in, a, in a way, the first meditators, they were going in caves. And uh, also in Italy, you have this kind of caves. This is in, uh, near Potenza. Uh, it's not Matera, but it's, uh, it's another place where you can see the house and the landscape mixing. And this is in Tuscany, Etrurian things. So this, uh, this uh, type of architecture in the, in the landscape is very present in Italy. And, uh, and we were proposing to Alan to make uh, houses in the landscape uh, these small houses where the, the practitioners sh should spend one year uh, as, a, as a covered in the, in the landscape, you know, as something inside. And uh, where the, the practitioner would have the feeling of, uh, of being protected and look at the landscape. So we hope that this, which is still going on, is very well accepted also by the uh, region, the authorities, uh, sovereintendenza, which are terrible in Italy, absolutely. Nothing is good and nothing is acceptable. And we created these little houses with vaults, which uh, will give the possibility for the practitioner to stay one year there. This is the, the, um, the, the calc we did with the, with the tries of the different type of vaults, which can uh, make uh, the dwellings and, uh, and uh, this is the section more or less so that uh, the house will not ruin the slope, will change it a little but slightly you know, so that the house is healthy, you have light on one side and the other but in the same time the, the hill is not totally ruined, is, uh, is a little change but is still very green is still working as a, as a landscape, as a Toscan landscape. So these are the tries that we tried in many different ways. And also with Alan, we didn't meet because Alan stays in, in, uh, in United States. We were meeting during the COVID time and we were making these presentations, which are actually working, let's say. <laughs> you know? And uh, we were telling him, oh, we would like it to be a little like that. This is Maison. Sharabai in India by Le Corbusier. And uh, this is uh, the proposal, the back of the house, the front of the house, where the meditators can, can, can look. And, and, and these are this, the, the, this is the hill with the little houses there, and uh, how the practitioner will, will uh, interact with, uh, with the landscape. 
we are also laughing in the office. You know, we, we don't want to make the Hobbit, eh? but <laughs> of course, <laughs> it's a little bit. No, we, we try our best to make it become something different and uh, to, to, to make it healthy, you know, very perfect. It, uh, you have to live here one year. Of course, they can move in the, in the surrounding, but one year in this house, it has to be like a perfect machine. The machine where you feel well, you